Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you the basics of Tunisian crochet for beginners. To begin, you will need a Tunisian crochet hook, sometimes called an Afghan hook. They come in all different shapes and sizes. They also make an extended Tunisian hook, which has something that looks like fishing wire attached to the hook section to hold many stitches for a large blanket. They also have interchangeable Afghan or Tunisian hooks. For this sample, I'm using worsted weight yarn and a size I Tunisian hook. You can start with any multiple of stitches, either a chain or a row of single crochet. If you start with a row of single crochet, it helps prevent curling in the fabric. Insert the hook into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And in the next stitch, and in the rest of the stitches across this row. It helps to really draw up the yarn and try to make all loops an even size if you could. By drawing them up a bit more exaggerated like this, it will also help prevent curling, which is so common in Tunisian crochet. After making the last several loops, you have just completed what is oftentimes called the forward pass. For the return pass, Yarn over and draw through just one loop. We only do one loop at this particular end. Now for all other loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and two more loops. Yarn over and two more loops. Continue taking off two loops at a time across the row like this. Once completed, your Tunisian row should look something like this. For our next row, we'll start to form the simple Tunisian stitch. The forward pass looks like this. Insert under the front loop like this. And draw up a loop. Insert under the next front loop. And draw up a loop. Under the next loop. and under the next loop. At the end, you have two choices. You can place the last stitch just in the front loop like this. Or you can go through the last stitch like this. If you do this, it forms a nice chain along the edging. Now it's time for the return pass. The first one, just take off one loop. And for the rest of the loops, take off two loops at a time. Two loops and two more loops. Keep taking off in groups of two loops. And continue across until the very end. You can see the Tunisian simple stitch starting to form. Just keep making as many rows as you wish. On your very last row, you can finish it in several different ways. The easiest way is to basically make very loose slip stitches. Insert under a loop, yarn over, and slip stitch. This creates a nice chain along the top. It's important to note that Tunisian crochet is just a technique. When you follow a pattern that uses Tunisian crochet, the pattern's designer might have you do different things than what I'm showing you in this video. And here's what it looks like once completed. You can just cut the yarn and weave in the ends like in traditional crochet. Another popular Tunisian crochet variation is called the Tunisian knit stitch. We'll start off the same way with either a chain or single crochet row and a forward pass and return pass of loops. Instead of inserting into the front loop, we're going to go right through the center of the loops like this. And draw up a loop. Insert through the loops, yarn over, and draw up a loop. And again. Continue with this across the row. The return pass is the same as before. One loop off on the edge. Then take loops off in groups of two. Two loops off, and another set of two loops. Continue doing this across the row. Usually, one Tunisian row contains both the forward pass and the return pass. 
but this could differ depending upon the pattern's designer. Subsequent rows are made the same way. Insert in between the loops, draw up loops. Then take off loops in the return pass as you did before. You can really see how it's starting to look like traditional stock in it knitting at this point. And the fabric is very light and stretchy. Tunisian crochet is a wonderful alternative to knitting if you prefer using a crochet hook. Finishing the Tunisian knit stitch is pretty much the same as before with the slip stitches. There are so many variations on Tunisian crochet that creates really neat designs. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.